What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and take a look at this headline, shocking news coming out, Representative Hakeem Jeffries says that he's very confident that Democrats will retain the majority in the midterms that they are going to win in November. Now I've got the video footage you're not going to want to miss, as he's saying this is because they're going to take decisive action, pass legislation and executive orders are going to be on the way. Now, does he know something that we don't? Because the most popular provision amongst American people that would help the president with his approval, we have heard, is stimulus checks. Well, I've also got an article I want to share with you, and you got to let me know your thoughts if you agree with what we're about to take a look at, and do you think that Democrats are going to be able to pull this off if they pass a fourth federal level check for all. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now take a look at these headlines coming out though. President Biden's approval rating dips to the lowest of his presidency. Biden's approval rating dwindles as Americans grapple with rampant inflation. Americans are pessimistic about Biden's economy, saying that this is the number one concern right now, the state of our economy, inflation, and sending out more direct assistance to help out people. And most Americans say things are going badly under a distracted and and incompetent President Joe Biden. Now, let me know your thoughts. Take a look at this article. They're going to be tapping on stimulus checks. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. President Joe Biden approval rating has dipped to the lowest point of his presidency in May. A new poll has showed with deepening pessimism emerging amongst members of his own Democratic Party. Only 39% of U.S. adults approve of Biden's performance as president, according to polls. Now, overall, only two out of 10 adults say the U.S. is heading in the right direction or our economy is good, both down from about 3 out of 10 just last month. Now, of particular concern for Biden ahead of the midterm elections, his approval among Democrats stands at 73%, a substantial drop since earlier in his presidency where it was 82%. Now, take a look at this quote right here, you guys. I don't know how much worse it can get, says Milan Ramsey, a 29-year-old high school counselor and Democrat in Santa Monica. And she moved out of her place to be with her parents to raise her infant son. Ramsey thinks the economy's dysfunction that has led to her being unable to afford her place where she grew up isn't Biden's fault. But she's also alarmed that he has not implemented ambitious plans for fighting climate change or fixing health care. He hasn't delivered on any of his promises, she said. Now, let me know, do you agree with that? And she went on to say, I feel like stimulus checks came out and that was the last big win for the administration. I think he's tired and I don't blame him. I'd be tired too at his age with his career that he currently has. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So things do not appear to be looking good for President Joe Biden and Democrats, yet we're going to be taking a look at the video footage from Hakeem Jeffries saying he's confident that they're going to be taking decisive action quickly on legislation and executive orders to get things done, and they're going to win and retain power. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to take a look at it, but do you think that checks are going to be on the way? As we have heard, they are the number one most popular provision, and they've been the number one provision to help fight poverty during the pandemic. And we have heard that these are going to ramp up as we get closer to elections. And we've already had two new proposals released. If you missed them, check out my previous videos. We had one from the House of Representatives for $1,000, a fourth federal level check to everybody in the nation. We also had another one come out of the Senate specifically for low income individuals. It's going to be $600 and then $600 for dependents as well. Now we will see if either of these pick up traction and this is on a federal level to everybody in the nation. And I will let you know, do you think that they will pass some form of a check in order to help gain popularity and retain power before these elections? Well, you guys, I'm going to let you take a look at the video footage. Let me know your thoughts. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Also wanted to mention, consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And if you're interested right now with all of the concerns of inflation and recession and the things going on about your money, I share a lot of updates on starting businesses, investing in stocks, crypto, real estate to help out people and their families to help combat these economic issues that we're dealing with. If you're interested, I'm going to pin a comment down below, click the link, go subscribe, and I hope that that is a blessing to you. Also, if you appreciate the updates here, don't forget to take a quick second 
Smash that like button for me. Helps me out a ton with the algorithm. Thank you so much. Also, like I said, leave your comments. Share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date totally free, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Come join the Ram Fam. Why not? I'll let you know everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at this video footage from Hakeem Jeffries on Democrats winning in the elections. We're joined now by New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. He's the chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, and he is in San Diego, California this morning. Good morning to you, Congressman. Um, I want to get to you uh, on some of this uh, poll data that you also heard here specifically. Young people, Hispanics, and half of black Americans say the president has been too slow to react. His ratings on effectiveness are low. Perceptions of competence are low. A majority of Democrats now say the economy is bad. How does your party hold on to the majority? Well, I'm very confident that we will be able to hold on to the majority. President Biden has done a very good job under incredibly difficult circumstances. I understand that the electorate, of course, is gonna be unsettled, experiencing COVID fatigue, uh, inflationary pressures, high gas prices, a war uh, in Ukraine, a radical extreme Republican party that doesn't appear to believe in democracy uh, any longer. And so this is a, a, a tough moment for our country, but President Biden has been very decisive in his leadership Beginning with the American Rescue Plan, we rescued the economy, put shots in arms, money in pockets, kids back mm -hmm. in school, laid the foundation for a robust economic recovery that has led to more than 8 million good paying jobs being created and unemployment at 3.6%. That's a tremendous start. Of course, there's more that needs to be done. Right. And, and you know, inflation, as you heard, is the chief concern, but specifically on looking like the president is reacting too slow and not taking action. Um, talk to me about a specific issue, police reform, for example. Uh, it's been two years, it'll be two years this weekend, since the killing of George Floyd and the national protest that followed. The president has been uh, looking at an executive order on police reform for months now, continues to say it's coming. Does he need to act on something specific like that before November? Well, it's my hope and expectation that we will see uh, some further decisive action from the administration. It's unfortunate that we find ourselves in this position uh, because Senator Tim Scott decided to walk away from negotiations that were bipartisan in nature in terms of striking the right well, balance. Was, Democrats between... walked away in the Senate on that one. But on the question of the, of the president, is the urgency on police reform fading? I think the president has said it correctly that we are going to lean into public safety, make sure we strengthen the relationship between the police and the community, that we confront uh, the rise in gun violence, and that we also invest in young people in violence interruption and making sure that young people have access to extracurricular programming, summer enrichment programs, summer jobs, and the things that allow for them to live a productive life uh, and not be put in a position mm -hmm. where they are influenced by destructive behavior around them. So for fellow Democrats who are up for election, this bit from our poll may stand out. More than a third of Democrats call their own party weak. And that is particularly acute among young people, 41%. That could hurt your turnout. How do you respond to that? Is, that, is there time for change here in terms of congressional leadership? No, I think uh, led by Speaker Pelosi and Leader Schumer, uh, we've been acting decisively. Just this week, uh, we responded by passing legislation uh, to address the price gouging that we believe, particularly as it relates to the oil and gas industry, is taking place and hurting the American uh, consumer. We, of course, passed legislation to deal with the rise in domestic terrorism and white supremacy the in this country. Said that law unfortunately, wasn't needed. unfortunately, every single uh, Republican, w w except for about one or two, voted against this in the immediate aftermath uh, of the tragic massacre in Buffalo. So we are acting decisively, uh, but I think we do have to crystallize the differences between what we're about and what Republicans are all about. It's clear that Washington Republicans want to raise taxes on everyday Americans, on police officers, on firefighters, on nurses, on factory workers, mm -hmm. on grocery store clerks. Uh, and we are trying to provide them with relief. 
the Republicans, including your prior guest, actually want to end Social Security and Medicare as we know it in five years, forcing it to sunset. Those are serious differences between the two parties. Mm -hmm. And I think once the voters understand that dynamic, the choice will be as clear as a sunny day in San Diego. <laughs> well, the choice will be as clear as a sunny day in San Diego, he says. Let me know if you agree or disagree. We will see, and I will keep you up to date on all the legislation, any of the decisive actions, any of the executive orders that will come out from Congress, and let you know the latest here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. It's totally free. Why not? Join the Ram Fam. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. If you got any questions, shoot them to me on Instagram at SteveRam3 and consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.